Lisa Arneal from Growing Your Baby and today we are checking out the Disney Princess pop-up castle. So one of the things that is synonymous with the word kids play castle is massive and we have a couple that we've tested over the years and they are like three feet tall and three feet wide. They take up a lot of space. What Hasbro has done this year is they've actually given you the castle play experience with a smaller footprint and this is it all folded up. Not only is this all folded up, but this is how it comes in the box. There isn't a lot of installation for you to do, and this is how it all goes back together. So really, really good if you've already got a ton of other castles or play sets that are taking up a lot of space in your house and you don't have a lot more space, but your kids want this. So I'll just show you some of the features and I'll show you a couple of the things I had to do to put it together. This thing goes together in about five minutes and that includes getting it out of the box, taking the elastics off and putting a couple pieces together. I am happy to report there are only two stickers in this whole entire set you have to put together. Often with these, the second piece that I don't love is putting stickers on every single surface to bring it to life. So they've done all of that for you, everything's done, you literally take it out of the box, open it up, and it's ready to go. Christmas morning, you're golden. So here we go. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to set it down like this. This is how I pack it back up as well. So just open it up. I'm gonna take all of the accessories out. You can see there's not really a lot to take out. So this is how it looks when you open it all up. So there is a lot of space to play in. And then at the back here, we've got a button. And when you lift that button, this allows you to, there we go, pop up the second floor. So there's your second floor. You've got a whole first floor. I brought Snow White along to kind of show how the dolls look. She is not included in this set. We've had her for quite a few years and um, I just love her. I love how Hasbro has redone the princesses. They've done a really good job. So up here, we've got a chandelier. This just pops into here. So that pops in like that. This sits up here. This extends out to be the bathroom. And this is the tub and I really like this. This is one of the pieces you have to add. How cute is that for Ariel? And then over here is the eating area. So this just actually fits into a groove on the side and then you've got a chair. So in, so this is the kitchen area, this is the dining area. In here is a stove. Those are the two stickers you have to put on. They're on the top of the stove. And then we've got a bunch of accessories for the kitchen. Not a ton, but I like that they've made this so that that's your storage area when you're done. So we've got some spoons, a cup and saucer, a cake, and all of this can go on the table. A pot for the stove, and then a plate. So all the different areas are a nod to each one of the princesses. You can see here we've got Beauty and the Beast, we've got the three fairy godmothers, at the back here we've got Cinderella, over here, of course, is Ariel. And then if you look, we've got Rapunzel. I'm just gonna turn this around. Again, Beauty and the Beast. There is a door here so that kids can play from both sides. And the stairs actually pivot out. So you can see when this is fully extended, this is a great design. They've done a really good job with this. 
And the full-size princesses fit everywhere in this set. So she fits here. She doesn't sit on the chair as good, although she does. She can stand up perfectly inside the set and she also fits in the bathtub. So they've made everything compact, but they've also made it so that it still fits the princesses comfortably. So you could have three or four princesses in this castle. playing at different times and in each room. Now when you're done, all of the pieces, the little pieces, go back inside the stove. Now what I do with this is, first I take this off, I put it in the bathtub, pop these back in, This drops down the exact same way that you got it to come up, just with that button there. And then from here, what I do is I actually lay it down. It's easier to get everything to fit in when it's not standing up. lock it up and there you go so there are as I mentioned there are a couple pieces that you do have to add the things that I had to put together I had to add this piece and then the little top here I added this piece this piece I had to put the chair together and put the chandelier together it's really really quick for Christmas morning and then you'll have to get a couple princesses to fill it and I think these retail for about $12 so there you go. This is a really great size for a full featured castle. Tucks right into the corner and then opens up when your kids want to play with it. So thank you so much for joining me and this is the Disney Princess Pop-Up Castle. It retails for $65. Thank you so much and please subscribe to our channel for more great videos.